I feel like there's a big misconception about runners, and it's that runners can eat whatever they want because they're burning a lot of calories. But that logic has not worked very well for me recently, so we're going to fix that. It is true that runners need more carbs than most athletes because they're burning so many calories, but the quality of the carbs that you pick really do matter. So my last two runs did not go very well. One of them because I didn't eat enough calories so I ran out of energy, and the other one I actually ate too many calories right before I ran so I ended up feeling sick. The runner's diet doesn't have to suck, in today's video I'm going to fix my own diet while I fuel up to run 6 miles for today's long run. It was hard to not get the salted caramel banana pancakes with salted caramel drizzle and whipped topping. So that's the kind of carbs we don't want today on a six mile run is just going to be sugary fuel that's going to make us feel crappy later or like leave us with a bit of a crash. So like this is going to be a better sustained option. We're still getting like 1300 calories, I think. I forgot to check on the menu exactly, but pretty high calories this morning and then some coffee. After this, we're off to church and then uh, probably get one more meal in and then get ready for a run. When you're running out of cheese and egg, that's when you swap to the ketchup. My breakfast bowls, not bad. A little on the dry side, I would say. Like I said, I kind of wish I could just order pancakes all the time, but uh, we wanted something a little bit more sustainable. But speaking of sustainable, the coffee there was not. So we swung over to good old Starbucks. It sounded like better than a cappuccino or a latte or something like that. I don't like super sweet drinks. Sylvia got a, what'd you get? A dirty chai latte. Also, I should say, I don't love Starbucks normally, but the big reason is because we have a gift card. That's why we went here, because it's free. So, got our coffees, we're gonna head off to church, and then after that, when our food digests, which I hope it does, because it's kind of sitting right in the top of my stomach here, we'll head home and then uh, get some food and get ready to run. I think I said that last time. How should I end this part? Uh, I don't know. Maybe cut it out of the first one. And how about a cool hand transition? All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and have a little coffee chat. I will be down here foam rolling and you have no choice but to listen to me. So listen here. I can't quite remember what this is called, but it's the place with the, the green lady with long hair and the crown. I think it's a mermaid. I think it's supposed to be a mermaid. It's a medium roast and it kind of tastes like if a guy took, let's see, if a guy took a cigarette and then ripped out all the insides and then dumped it in here and then shook it up and then that's what you were drinking. So I don't exactly like Starbucks coffee. Oh, Starbucks. So at this point in my life, I'm on a process of like elimination with coffee. I can know for a fact that I will never have to go back to Starbucks and purchase a black coffee. There's no need. Now I do like their brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. I think they had a brand new hazelnut shake and espresso and that was good, like it tastes good, but it's not my preference for my coffee because it's a little too sweet for my liking. I also, during this coffee chat, want to share with you a really cool thing that I found, but there's approximately 100 million YouTube channels. I just hit 300 subscribers. Hurrah, that's amazing. Only 10 million of those channels have over 1,000 subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, welcome. We got a lot of videos coming up in the future, so we will be posting regularly. Speaking of coffee and elimination, to end this coffee chat real quick, because I'm supposed to be foam rolling. Here's another coffee that I'll probably not buy again, sadly. This Crimson Cup coffee, I just do not like it. It's a whole bean coffee, not my favorite at all. This will be one that I will discard. Um, I will finish it, I'm not gonna waste it, but I will not be buying that one again. A coffee that I really recommend and really surprised me, that's definitely at the top of my list here, Blue Bottle Coffee. The taste notes are dark chocolate, hazelnut, and marshmallow, whole bean, organic. This is like a top five right now. So if you're looking for a coffee you could get at the store, order online, this is my top recommendation. All right, we are just about to leave to go run. We're getting in one more meal and then we have like a half hour drive to the trail that we're gonna be running on. And we're doing six miles today at our easy pace. So here's what we're gonna eat before we go run. All right, so we're gonna have this English muffin here and then we're putting honey on it and a bunch of it. And then right here, this is the recipe you need to try. This is organic strawberry yogurt, and you mix in vanilla protein powder, and then add some granola on top. It's an incredible snack. That's what we're gonna be having for our pre-run. So we had the skillet this morning, 
We're eating this right now. We've had like two half coffees, which equal a full coffee, so we're gonna be good. So I'm gonna do that, and then once we're done eating, we're gonna start our journey to go run six miles. So this should be enough fuel, and oh yeah, I think I'm feeling good. It is just a little bit windy out here. So I'm actually not gonna bring my microphone with me and update you as we go. So we're just gonna get out there and run, and I'll probably bring my camera with me and show some of it. Oh my gosh, if you can hear that wind, I'm sorry. I got a wind protector on here, but um, I'll update you with each of the six miles we do on how I'm doing, but it will not be with this. So let's get this run going. It's a windy one and my hair is gonna get messed up and that drives me nuts. finished our six mile run in 53 minutes. So eight minutes, 57 seconds per mile, which is pretty good for me. It's definitely a little fast. Again, sorry about the wind if that is getting in the way, but we're all done. Sylvia is about at mile five. So she has one more mile to go. She's doing really good. It is tough running by the reservoir because of the wind. Just running into the wind. And then we hit some, we hit some hills for sure we were not prepared for. So don't know if you could tell on the video, but really, really windy and really, really hilly. So. Overall though, it feels great to have that done in a new environment too. We've never ran here before, so it's just something different. Once Sylvia's done, we have got to get out of here and believe it or not, it's sprinkling right now and this camera is not waterproof. So we're gonna say goodbye to this camera and wait for Sylvia. We're home now, so we're gonna get another thing of electrolytes here. Well, wow, Fresh. And we're about to make dinner. We're gonna have chicken Alfredo and add some electrolytes here. But I just gotta say, six miles is almost half of the half marathon. So that's an impressive feat. Speaking of carbs, we're gonna get ourselves a big spoonful of honey because number one, it tastes good. Number two, it's heavy in carbs. I could eat a bowl of honey, I really could. All right, chicken is done. This broccoli, well, I think is definitely done. And then we got our pasta and alfredo over here. So everything we're eating here is organic. So that's a plus for us and our goals. Veggies, protein, and carb. It's kind of like the perfect post-running meal. So we're gonna eat this. And then, speaking of food, we have a little something maybe planned after this. Maybe. Is there a potential surprise coming? Let's just say it has swirl in it. We'll be right back. been dwelling in the 80 percentile of our diet so it's time we dip our toes in the 20. so we're getting ice cream whoa this is what do we do look at the line no it's all the way out here you need to keep going straight i think oh what the line is all the way out to the road we do what we got to do to get ice cream here okay because like i said it's 80 20 everything in moderation and I mean everything in moderation so I can at least have some ice cream you know I just one last thing I'm sorry if I've been ranting and talking a lot in today's vlog I just want to say this I'm an honest man I could have easily ended the vlog and just been like like and subscribe huh ran six miles we eat great food all the time huh and then over 
We go get our ice cream and we eat it off camera. I didn't do that, okay? I did not do that because I care about the people and getting the proper source of information, okay? So we're showing them we got ice cream, okay? 20% bad. And I don't even know if one medium soft serve ice cream is 20%. I feel like this week it's been 90-10, okay? So, yeah, 90-10. All right, so there's our building right there. There's this car, there's a truck in front of it, there's one right there, and that just goes like all the way over there. We made it. How much you wanna bet they're parking there and then walking over? Oh, I just looked at them, oops. Oh, we <laughs> caught them. We literally <laughs> caught them red-handed. Those people are parking over there and they're gonna walk up to the window and beat the rush. Shame, shame, shame. 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 <laughs> go over there, I'll get your picture taken. Okay. Hop out real quick, there's a couple cars in line, but let's go ahead and get your picture of Mr. Twist, dude. He looks high. <laughs> this is the problem with these ice cream places around here, the local ice cream places, is it breaks 75 one time. And all of Ohio is out for ice cream. It's instant ice cream weather. All right, we got our ice cream. Soft serve, orange vanilla twist. It's really the only thing you should be getting is soft serve at this point. Chink. This is like the perfect combination. Like vanilla's very smooth and creamy, and then you get the, the orange, which is a little bit more like tart. It's awesome. It's probably my favorite ice cream of all time. And I never do cones. Cones are for wieners, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not good. All right, so we are gonna take our ice cream and go eat in bed and watch some TV and chill because we're very tired after the six miles. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I got an itch, hold on. Oh, I had to go there, yep. Thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully you got something from this running diet meal kind of stuff. Um, obviously the, whole, the overall focus is 80 to 90 percent of the time eat as good as you can and focus getting cleaner carbs than just than just sugar and packaged stuff and whatever you feel like eating try and get whole foods so we can have this as a reward when we're done running not before running so that way you can still have a pizza you can still have some ice cream once in a while maybe as a treat but focus on starting to fuel your runs with food that's actually going to make a difference okay so um, if you guys got something, consider liking and subscribing. Thank you to 300 who have subscribed. We are ice cream bound and we're very tired. So we're going to go to bed in probably an hour and a half. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.